What inspires me is uh, the local ecosystem, the environment, uh, traditions and culture uh, related issues. Uh, my identity plays a big uh, role of understanding uh, what it is to be an Emirati. Uh, so all that together with stories from the past uh, get captured within my artwork. I work with a lot of mediums and materials in my work and um, depending on the scale, so am I creating wearable art or am I creating a large sculpture? So um, to me, the mediums I enjoy working with is from precious metals like gold and silver to gemstones and diamonds to materials uh, such as asphalt, sand, leather, palm branches, um, and in different collaborations, I also combine traditional materials like telly and sadu as well with modern materials like stainless steel and mild steel as well. As an artist, to me, scale does not raise an issue. So I've been able to create wearable jewelry from small scale to large scale pieces where we are able to enjoy them either by engaging or walking through the sculptures or even sitting still within the artwork. So to me, scale has uh, never been an issue. Um, I think what supports me is my passion of working and investigating and working with different mediums and materials from metal to natural materials. And that I think has been able to bridge the gap between the scale of creating pieces that we engage through by wearing and where else the other pieces that I create uh, somehow wear us. Um, so I tell them it's a huge bracelet or it's a huge necklace that you can walk through. My name is Azal Qubaisi. I'm an Emirati artist from Abu Dhabi and I create wearable arts, culture and design. Uh, Al Ghadir project means a lot to me because um, I worked on it uh, when I was a full-time volunteer in the Red Crescent. And um, to me, a, a project that supports women and supports the development of local handicraft makes all the sense, you know, to exist. So it's definitely one of those projects that um, I feel very positive about and to see it grow over the past decade uh, has been an amazing uh, opportunity to continue back and volunteer in collaborating with them and in creating and developing new products with them. the desert and the sea weaving. Uh, to me, it means a lot because it brings all the local handicrafts together in two artworks that reflect and capture the sea and the desert oasis. And within the colors and within the different weaves that I've used from Sa'af to Sadu to Telli, um, I was able to create this balance, but yet a dimensionality to the work, um, as a lot of the pieces usually are alone, either the Sa'af as baskets or the Sadu as uh, flat pieces or created into different objects. So to me, I wanted to celebrate the local craft in creating a piece that can capture our culture and our identity and celebrate women in all the different colors and all the different weaves together in, in, in a unique limited edition pieces. One of my most important artwork is Seeking Identity because it's one of those pieces where I think to me I had more questions than I had answers and through using the iconic palm 
and the positive of a gaff tree, I was able to create this dialogue between those iconic elements and um, create a, a, a list of uh, questions that uh, to me somehow answered uh, what it is to be uh, an Emirati. Working with different techniques is very important and one of them is casting in calamari bone. Uh, it is an ancient technique, it is a very old technique that has been used by civilizations in the past and I bring it back in my series where I've created wearable art called Marine Symphony and to me I capture the story of the, uh, the sea and the marine life. Um, using this technique, I've been able to run one-day workshops where participants would be able to create their own unique pieces of jewelry. Because it's one of the fastest way of casting jewelry or casting in itself different mediums or materials, um, I've been able to allow people to experience um, the ability to create their own unique piece through this technique um, and to see the beauty of natural material. But in the same time, um, I feel like I'm telling the story genuinely with the lines that we get from the calamari. It's like the fingerprints of humans. To me as an artist, it is very important to bridge the gap between public art and private art. I've been doing my part uh, as people participate in my uh, artworks, uh, you know, through different festivals. But I think having uh, public art in public spaces is something that is very important and close to my heart. And I hope we see more of it within the UAE. Being able to give back to society and collaborate with different organizations and NGOs, whether in the country or out of the country, is something very important to me and very close to my heart. Over the years, I collaborated uh, myself in uh, trying to bridge the gap between uh, the society and the art by sharing my passion through uh, providing materials like the palm branches, either the palm branch or the palm eye, um, and making it available in different events or specific events that I create to get the people to paint and uh, create their work or artwork with me. Uh, one of my recent collaborations was with Make-A-Wish Foundation and um, with them we were able to organize uh, an event where they would invite uh, participants with their family and siblings to create pieces of art where those pieces that I create get painted by them uh, in short period of time and those pieces get to be celebrated and enjoyed by gifting them to different people uh, through the organization itself. So in my childhood, um, I got the opportunity to travel with my parents a lot, connect to nature, and even the local environment, going to the beach, going to the desert trip as a family, was part of uh, my childhood memories. This is something that I kept on happening with my kids as well. The extra is connecting to the mountains, uh, which uh, again is, is uh, 
wasn't very significant in my childhood, except when we used to go to Al Ain. But um, for me, um, a big part is, is trying to experience the whole uh, UAE uh, within the seven Emirates and seeing how unique each, uh, each Emirate is. So that's something I'm passing down to my kids. Each child uh, have experienced different aspect in life with me, um, one more than the other, but they definitely um, have access to mediums and materials that I have lying around me in the house. I think it's definitely easier for them if that's what they decide to pursue in the future. My advice would be for emerging or upcoming artists is to be true to your voice and um, to always listen to your inner voice in capturing or reflecting uh, your artwork and trying to be as genuine as possible in researching and uh, studying the story that you're trying to capture within your work that you are creating.